Hi, I'm Bill Sheehy from Latin American Masters Gallery in Santa Monica, California. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, looking at painting and specifically the work of the great Puerto Rican artist Arnaldo Roche Rebel, or Roche as he liked to be called. Uh, Roche was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico in 1955. He passed away in 2018 and he's regarded as one of the most significant artists of his generation to come from Latin America or the Caribbean. The painting that we're looking at, uh, which is called Looking for My Crown, is a uh, it's an interesting painting. The first thing when you look at it, uh, the first thing that strikes me is that it's a very monochromatic painting done in tones largely of blue moving towards uh, white, but it's dominated by the color of blue. There's a reason for that. Um, the backstory is that in 2004, Arnaldo Roche, uh, who had been painting in color for the better part of 30 years, uh, was so in, in, affected by the uh, tsunamis, uh, I'm talking about being psychologically affected, by the tsunamis, tsunamis that hit Indonesia, where this cataclysmic uh, natural disaster killed tens of thousands of people, that he stopped working with color, and he made a decision to work exclusively in the color blue. And the meaning of the color blue is very open to interpretation, but coming from an island culture where Nature is both a blessing and a curse. Uh, the, if you think about the force of hurricanes and of, of tropical storms, and even the vast distances and isolation that blue represents as the, uh, as the ocean that surrounds uh, the island culture, all of these are somehow embedded in uh, Arnaldo Roche's choice of colors. Um, when we look at the painting itself, um, what I see is uh, a painting, he calls it a self-portrait, but what I see actually is a, a decapitation. I see a painting without a body. And you'll notice that there's a circle around the base of the neck of the figure. This is not unlike a plate, a circular plate. And one thinks of um, the, if you think about the Bible, uh, in the Bible, John the Baptist is beheaded, um, and he, uh, it's, that's interesting because San Juan is Saint John, it's, that is John the Baptist. So there's a way in which this painting, even though it's, it's Roche calls it a self-portrait, it's actually an allegory for uh, the decapitation of Puerto Rico as being separate from the body of the Americas as being in this sort of limbo where it's not Latin American. It's a sort of colonial subject. It's in this in-between world. I think for Roche, that's a form of uh, decapitation. And when he, when he talks about where's my crown, I think he's talking about the authority of the Puerto Rican people to be able to uh, have, a, have a say in their own destiny. Now, technically what's interesting about this painting is when you look at it, those objects in the painting that you see that look like leaves are in fact actual leaves. He didn't paint those leaves and, or, and paste them into the painting. What he did was he took those leaves and he painted the leaves and laid their impressions with a roller into the surface of the painting. And Roche was famous for working with layering. Uh, the white strip of paint uh, oil that comes down through the face of this figure that encompasses the eye is actually a piece of oil that Roche painted separate from the canvas, cut and laid back into the painting. What's interesting about that is not just the technique, but the way in which Roche is suggesting that, uh, that there's more to appearance than surface, that, that reality is in fact very, very layered. So when you look at this painting, the choice of color, the iconography of the severed head, which has relationships to the Bible and also to a uh, in, in a political context to uh, Puerto Rico's relationship to the rest of the world and his use of materials. All of these things inform the painting and make it so unique as an object. If you've enjoyed this conversation on looking at Arnaldo Roche, please feel free to go to our website www.latinamericanmasters.com where you can learn more about the artist and about other Latin American artists. Thank you very much.